Hey, Hugh here. We're gonna talk about volatile and non-volatile aroma compounds. Now, volatile aroma compounds are compounds with high vapor pressure. So they're really easily released as gases. So think about when you roast coffee, when you grind coffee or brew it, all those aromas that we smell. Well, that's a volatile aroma compound being released with the generation of heat. Now, as you can see here, there are a lot of compounds in coffee, but there's no way we can taste all of them individually because some cover up others. So these vaporize and they go retronasal. So this allows us to experience a flavor in coffee. If we go to non-volatile compounds, these are more linked to taste rather than flavor. So it's what we actually feel on our palate. So some of these may be acids, lipids, caffeine, and a whole lot more that contribute to really the overall balance of a cup. As an example, caffeine provides bitterness. But if we add caffeine to a coffee, it's not necessarily gonna bring out a dark chocolate flavor, known for bitterness. What's really important is piecing together the different types of compounds and allowing that to interact with our brain. So let's just say caffeine for its bitterness, plus certain aldehydes or esters, the volatile compounds, plus the lipids, might give us that perception of dark chocolate. Because so our brain pieces together these different bits of information, combines them with our memory, which allows us to experience a flavor that we've had before. So this is a big reason why, for example, two coffees with the same brew recipe, the same extraction yield, the same TDS, could taste dramatically different. There's a lot more to coffee than just this. And it's a big reason why I haven't got too bogged down in these measurements. So as you can see, it's very important to consider not only dissolved compounds, but also volatile aroma compounds to unlock a full coffee flavor experience. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about why to chill the extract rather than the portafilter.